Today, I invited 100 players to my Minecraft server to see what would happen when they were left all alone to simulate civilization across time. Will they be able to survive against the dangers in their time period before fighting with the other civilizations? Only time would tell. This is 100 players simulate civilization across time. As they spawned in, they immediately started looking for a food source, which would be hard as their civilization weren't advanced enough to farm crops, causing a few players to start exploring their region, eventually finding a herd of wild pigs, which wouldn't be easy to take down. It's chasing me. Help! <laughs> These boar were incredibly dangerous, and as several players were killed, the rest of this civilization knew these animals were far too strong to take down without any armor. So continued exploring through their region and eventually located some prehistoric caves that contained custom leaf armor and advanced stone weapons that could be crafted with super basic resources, allowing their civilization to start gearing up as word spread between their population about the leaf armor. Wait, wait, I can make a leaf chest plate. You can make leaf armor, you can make leaf armor. Bro, I look like a f hobo. What the hell? And as these players finally geared up, they were able to work together to take down the boars in their region, as they cooked up the meat on the nearby campfires to feed their population. Next up was the Ice Age, who spawned in and started exploring their region, gathering basic resources, but quickly ran into an issue after they were attacked by polar bears. Oh no, this, no, what is this? no, this is a beer. What's what? Don't, get close, him. Him. Don't oh, get close to him, don't get close to him. Oh my god, I don't want to be dead first! It's coming towards me. Oh! After escaping from the bears, they continued exploring and located an igloo camp, which contained helpful resources like food, fur armor, and fishing rods. I got a fishing rod. Oh my god. Oh, we can fish! With this region being too cold to grow crops, these fishing rods would be very important to the players in the Ice Age. But they quickly realized that fishing wouldn't be sustainable for long, as the only lake nearby was slowly freezing over, causing players to look for alternative food sources. And after exploring further, they realized they were surrounded by elk. Oh, elk, 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 elk! <gasps> bro, bro, he dropped seven pork chops. He dropped seven pork chops. Bro. What the yo, get his ass, yo. Bro, he's speedrunning. Bro, what the? No, 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 no. Bro, he's better than Dream. Bro, what the fuck with this elk? I'm getting you. I'm getting your ass. Yeah, boy. These elk dropped insane amounts of meat and fur, but catching them would only drain more of their hunger, as they were incredibly fast, making them hard to catch. Oh, that was a elk. Fire. More elk. Uh, wait, search up how to ride up, these. Um, like a large amount of pork chop. It's kind of hard to catch them, though. They're so fast. There's so many of them, bro. Yo, we gotta corner them. Oh, get it. Ah, it's get actually like primitive get him, hunting get him, tactics. Get him, get him, get him! Oh, no. What the hell? Go from the right, go from the right. Oh. He's so fast. I'm, going, so I'm going from the right, I'm going from the right. Oh, got him. Get him. He's stuck. Nice! After collecting some more resources from the elk, they made their way back over towards the igloos to cook up the meat on the campfires inside, as they shared out the leather between their civilization, allowing almost everyone to craft full fur armor sets that would be very important in keeping them alive. What the f***? This leather armor is as good as <gasps> iron! Oh. Holy f***, this is insane! What? I'm gonna keep getting it. Thank you. Yo, Shatter, this leather armor is as good as iron! And finally was the Iron Age, that spawned in and started exploring, allowing them to quickly locate a medieval campsite with huge farms and barrels filled with loot. Oh, I got full set. But as they looted this campsite, they were completely unaware of the dangers lurking nearby. Yo, 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 there's a bear! There's a bear! Oh! oh no, 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 Oh, no. fuck. It's on me, it's on me. Okay. Oh, God. Holy <laughs> Luckily, after getting a hold of the weapons and armor inside, they were able to work together to take down this bear without losing any players, allowing them to continue looting through this camp, grabbing a bunch of food for their civilization, as a few other players on their team were able to locate a mineshaft filled with iron, 
which was incredibly useful to their population, as they were the only civilization on the server with the ability to mine ores, causing most of their team to make their way over and group up at the mine shafts as they worked on gathering resources to upgrade their armor, as they were still unsure as to what creatures were lurking nearby. So as players all over the server started making progress, back in the Stone Age, a few players had continued to explore after getting enough food for their journey, and eventually they were able to find a prehistoric camp containing food, slingshots with rocks, and custom stone armor that was much stronger than the leaf armor they were currently wearing. So after looting this camp, they then headed back towards the rest of their civilization and told the team about the stone armor that they had discovered, causing players to start experimenting as they tried to craft it. Wait, does this mean we can Oh my. Look at my look at my sword. <laughs> oh, it's a beat stick. And after realizing that they could use smooth stone to craft more advanced tools, it didn't take long before they found out the recipe to stone armor, allowing their civilization to upgrade their armor once again to protect themselves from the deadly creatures that were still lurking nearby. There's alligators. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that's a little. Oh! Oh! Get out of there! Get out of there! Ow! Get out of there! So as they tried their best to avoid these creatures, their civilization started looking for a location to set up camp. And after exploring, a few of their members spotted a cave on a nearby mountain that they decided would be a great place to set up camp inside of. Is that a volcano? There's a giant- Guys, there's a, there's a hole in the volcano, look! I did not there's a hole, there's a hole! <laughs> what? There's a hole in the volcano, look! And as most of their civilization made their way over, they discussed their plans. Yo, b -Tech, what if we start making our civilization up here in this cave, and then we have yeah, groups of hunters and a group of adventurers Yo, going out? I think the cave is a pretty cool spot, especially for fitting the theme of Stone Age. After agreeing to set up camp in this cave, they scaled the mountain and realized that this place was perfect for what they needed. This cave is sick. Okay, yeah, this cave is massive. Okay, we don't even need to excavate. And as they started converting this cave into their base, they split up their civilization into groups of builders, explorers, and hunters, as they sent out a group of players to gather more meat to bring back for their civilization, as they were starting to run low on food. But they weren't the only civilization starting to set up a camp, as back over in the Ice Age, a few players had already started working on a small settlement in the hopes of building some small huts and a wall to keep them safe from any other creatures that were out in the wild. And after making some quick progress, they decided to group up a few players nearby and host a mini election, as they assigned temporary leadership roles to help push them in the right direction. Are you are relic? Are you okay with Exodus taking leadership on this one? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to backstab you, relic. I know for a fact I can't manage an entire team. That's just physically impossible. So I would love relic to take up a part of that leadership, even if I quote unquote am the leader. But as this group of players were making good progress over here, the group of hunters from earlier on were still out looking for elk to kill and take back to their civilization. But as they explored, they managed to find something much bigger than elk. Oh wait, what? The there's mammoths! There's mammoths! <gasps> These mammoths were incredibly strong, but when killed, it dropped insane amounts of food. So of course, these players decided to approach it and try to take it down. He's, he's not fighting back. Oh god, oh, no he did. Is he? No, this guy stinks though. Damage. He just does knockback. Oh, I saw hearts. Ow, yo! Oh, wait, 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 this guy doesn't stink. This guy doesn't stink. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, he's coming after me. Okay. Oh, this guy doesn't stink. This guy doesn't stink! Oh, Neo, Neo, Neo! Yes. Yeah. Back off, back off, back off, back off! What a way, Neo. What a way, Neo. This guy doesn't stink! Back off, back off, back off! He's, he's right behind you, he's right behind you! Why is he run, run, Neo, run! Run! run. <laughs> Get him! Neo! Bro, he's so big. We got him! We got him! Victory. We are his, conquerors! It's like his heart! Oh, wait, 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 boys, 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 I got a large meat chunk. Oh my god, give me the meat chunk. Oh. Luckily, after working together, they were able to take this mammoth down without losing any players, giving them huge amounts of meat that they were finally able to take back and share with their civilization, that was starting to make some great progress. Over in the Iron Age, most of them were still underground inside of the mine shafts as they were able to find a bunch of resources to share between their civilization, allowing almost their entire team to gear up with iron armor, which would be very important for the next phase of this event. As the preparation phase came to an end and the exploration phase started, expanding the borders in each region, unlocking new structures that would be very dangerous to enter. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, 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 guys, 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 guys. Yo. Have you guys seen that? Seen what? 
Do you guys not see that structure at the distance? In the Iron Age, this expansion unlocked a giant dwarven fortress filled with diamond armor, battle weapons, golden apples, and an enchantment table that would be very useful later on when these civilizations went into battle. But this loot wouldn't be easy to get, as this fortress was guarded by dwarven warriors, and as this civilization's strongest players were still in the mineshafts gathering ores to upgrade their armor and weapons, a group of farmers that were nearby decided to approach the fortress, completely unaware of the guards inside. I'm going in! I don't know if this is a smart decision. Oh. Yo, careful, there might be That's traps. Not... That does not look good. Everyone just stick together, everyone stick together. And as they made their way towards the loot room at the end, they spotted the guards. Oh my gosh, yo, this thing's in there, watch out. This is not good. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Realizing they weren't ready to fight, they tried to escape this fortress, but as they ran towards the exit, they were stopped as a dwarven blacksmith spawned in their way, locking them inside, giving them no choice but to fight, as this giant boss started knocking players off the bridge down into the lava below. Off, we fight, we fight, we fight! Oh, Yo, take armor, take armor! Oh god. Oh take armor, take armor, take armor, take armor. We fight, we fight! Completely unprepared for a fight, these farmers were destroyed by the blacksmith, as the few players that had entered this fortress with armor took charge and started attacking the boss, whilst the weaker members of the group took on the smaller guards. How much? Oh my god, they're coming. After losing another one of their teammates, they were able to work together and corner the boss, allowing them to take it down, finally giving them access to the loot inside of this fortress. Bro, these chests are loaded. Hey, what is this? This is broken, dude. And after looting this fortress, a few players quickly enchanted their gear as the rest of the farmers escaped back out into safety, as more knights continued to spawn, which these players didn't want to risk fighting. Meanwhile, over in the Ice Age, this phase unlocked an ice temple that was located less than 50 blocks from where these players had started setting up camp, allowing them to immediately run over to check it out. Just be careful. Oh, okay, no, this is a dungeon, bro. This is a dungeon. In the middle of this temple was a giant staircase down to a loot room. But at the bottom of this staircase was also a powdered snow trap that would cause anyone that jumped down to fall through the snow to their death. And as these players rushed in, they were caught by surprise. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Deathly's dead. Bro. That's why I said be careful. Wait, how did he die? Said, be careful. He, he just fell. fell. He fell. With no idea that El Deathly had fallen through the snow at the bottom, these players made their way down safely, walking slowly on the powdered snow with their fur boots that prevented them from falling through, allowing them to access the chests inside of this temple that were filled with ice shields, weapons, and custom ice armor that was incredibly OP as it was much stronger than the fur armor and prevented players from freezing when worn. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. And as they shared out this gear, they also realized that this temple contained their civilization's only enchantment table. Wait, in oh, enchant table? Is this the only enchant? This is the only enchant table. But this loot would come at a price, as they were still completely unaware about the trap in the center of this temple. And as their leader Exodus made his way inside, things didn't end well. Oh my god, Exodus just died. Exodus, what? Relic, Relic, congratulations, you've been promoted to leadership. As they stood around joking about their leader dying while standing over the same snow that he had fallen through only a few seconds before, one of their members finally realized that this was a trap. Guys, 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 oh no, no, no. Guys, 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 I know what it was. Look, this is powdered snow. We have leather boots. If you don't have leather boots, you're going to sink. As they realized they were stood on powdered snow, a player called Green Sandwich wanted to test this theory, as he took off his boots and realized his teammate was right as he sunk straight through the snow to his death. Let's go. No, wait, yes, oh my no. god. You oh idiot. my just, We don't, don't jump down. There's dripstone. It's dripstone. Okay, listen. There's dripstone. Be very careful. Guys, okay guys, there is dripstone under there. So we, we just need to go. It's a, it's, it's a trap. There's nothing there. It's just a trap. But despite now knowing about this trap and warning everyone nearby, players continue to mess around on the snow, causing another player to fall through. Oh my god. Oh, you love this. You idiot! Bro, bro, stop jumping down! <laughs> to avoid losing any more players from their civilization, they decided to carefully make their way up the staircase and leave the temple, hoping that nobody else would go inside and die to the trap. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, from who? From please who? Oh, be see, careful going best. down, Ariel. Please be careful. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I told him. 
I literally told him. Oh my god. Over in the Stone Age, the border expansion unlocked a secret stone temple deep into their region, which contained a load of loot that they knew they would need. We need to create a group to go explore, because they can yes. hold valuable materials for us. Yes. Yeah, I feel okay. like So as they sent a few more players out to start looking for this structure, the group of hunters that had been sent out earlier to gather food had actually taken this opportunity to explore instead of hunting boar. And after some exploration, they were able to locate the temple and went inside to start exploring, and were quickly greeted by the moss golems that patrolled this temple. <laughs> oh my, what is that? There's oh, rocky shit. men, oh, rocky men. Do you see the golems? Yeah, we see the golems. As they took down the golems inside, they made their way through the temple and eventually located the treasure room, which was at the end of a deadly parkour that floated above lava. It's a parkour area to the enchanting table. Mm, okay. That's Over cool. lava. Oh, oh lava. great. Knowing this parkour was extremely dangerous with the moss golems still lurking nearby, they decided to leave this temple behind and continue on their hunt for boars, as they had been apart from their civilization for almost half an hour after being sent out to gather food. And as the rest of the team waited at the cave for the hunters to return with the food, it didn't seem likely anytime soon, after they had been distracted by the temple slowing down their return which would end up proving costly to this civilization, as the exploration phase came to an end, and the disaster phase started, causing a famine to break out in their region, as all players were given the hunger effect, sending the players in the cave into panic, as they were all pretty low on food after they had been waiting for their hunters to return. Everyone stay together and get inside. All right. Wait, saturation! Guys, hunger, hunger, do not run, do not run, do not run. Everyone, just stand still, calm down. Guys, guys, glow burn, collect the glow burn. Guys, I'm scared right now. I got you, boy! I got you, don't worry. I have you, bucket. As the players in the cave tried their best to share out their resources, the hunters that had all of the food decided to stop moving to avoid losing any hunger, leaving the players in the cave hopeless as their hunger levels continued to drop. But they weren't the only ones struggling, as a few players from their civilization that had gone out exploring had been caught off guard by the famine as they were making their way through the mountains, causing them to sacrifice one of their teammates as they used his meat and bones for food, which gave them just enough to return back to the cave before they starved and reunite with the rest of their population, without them realizing what happened. Meanwhile, over in the Ice Age, the disaster phase brought different challenges, as a blizzard had started, causing any players that were outside to start freezing. Oh man! Oh, 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 oh! Get in, get inside, get inside. <laughs> but players weren't the only ones affected by the cold, as all nearby animals were also killed, which would definitely be costly later on. And as players started grouping up around campfires to stay warm and avoid freezing to death, some players that were out in the wild hunting during this phase weren't lucky enough to find shelter, as they died in their attempt to find campfires or armor to keep them warm. Hurry! Wait! What do we do? What do we do? Campfire! 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 Come here! I have a campfire, just in case. Good, guys. Yes, go inside, come inside, come inside. Over in the Iron Age, their disaster was much different, as a player on their team had been infected with the plague, causing players to progressively get sick. And it didn't take long for it to spread, as Patient Zero was stood in a crowd of players that had grouped up outside of the Dwarven Fortress, causing the disease to quickly spread between the players nearby. Guys, move! Move, guys! Move! I have the plague! Go, go, go away! Go away! Oh, oh, guys, I move! I I let me go! Let me go! Or is it just hunger? As this group was sent into a panic, one of the players took charge as he ordered someone to find a cow, as players had to drink milk to cure themselves of the plague. Hey, hey, everyone with the plague, get in here. Somebody see if you can find a cow. Someone had a cow near spawn. Maybe we shouldn't spawn is very, very far. It's very though. far, but like, that's the only way to get rid of this plague. Hey. And as the Dwarven Fortress quickly became a quarantine zone, these players tried to come up with a plan before the plague got worse. Okay, wait, I, wait, gonna, I know where the cows are. I know where the cows I mean, I can try and go for quick. Are you infected? Oh, yeah, I am. I, I might just have to make I guess whatever. I, I'm I'll stuck. follow you. I, I need a bucket. I need a bucket. Luckily, a few of these players had trapped a cow earlier on. But with it being over a thousand blocks away from this fortress, getting there before they died would be a challenge. And with limited time before the plague would start to kill them, they had to make their move now. I want some something to follow me, just don't run to other people. I want some something to- Alright, everyone, follow him! I know where the chaos were the star. If someone killed it, then yeah, we're kinda dead. <laughs> so as they moved as a group across the map, they tried their best to avoid spreading the plague any further. Go guys, go away, go away, guys, guys, go away, 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 go away
Their symptoms developed, causing a few players to lose track of the group as they were infected with blindness. But I'm going to die if this keeps up. Like, this is actually so harsh. Hello? Hello. Where's the cow? Where's the cow? Where's the cow? Wait, 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 wait. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm Where's the cow? Here. Where's the cow? I'm blind. I'm blind. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm blind too. I don't have the cow here. Was there a cow here? Someone told me there was a cow here. And it didn't take long for the blindness to develop into withering, causing these players to slowly start dying. Can withering kill you? This is how I die. Wait, uh... Yikes. Luckily for the rest of the group that had stuck together, they managed to locate the cow before they started to die, giving them access to milk, eventually curing themselves, preventing any more deaths in their civilization. But despite having access to milk, somehow the plague continued to spread as players lied about being cured to their teammates. You have hunger! No, Do you have hunger? No, I have nothing. You I see the particles! I see the particles! I see, I see the particles. Darken, if you, listen, Darken, if you infect us, I'm actually gonna kill you. I'm telling 100%. If he infected us, he infected no, no, no. us. This guy's not real. <laughs> uh, uh, let's just quarantine ourselves while uh, everyone's just talking up. As these players continue to deal with the plague, another group that had gone exploring earlier were nowhere near the chaos, as they started to believe that their civilization weren't actually dealing with a disaster. I just want to see what the disasters are. You get me? I haven't seen any disasters. I'm, I'm curious what the other civilizations are doing right now. Do you think there's like a tornado tearing through their buildings? Yeah, maybe we're the only one not getting one. Like, I say she probably has a blizzard or whatever. Yeah, I think it's just a beautiful sunny day and everybody is just overreacting. We have nothing to worry about. But it didn't take long for them to find out about the plague, as a player that had cured himself earlier on escaped from the rest of their team hoping to avoid catching the plague again, and eventually ran into the group of players that had been off the grid since the start of this phase. You guys have the plague? So there's a plague going around by the way. Uh, there's a cow near spawn as well. There's a plague? <laughs> there's a plague? Yeah, there's a plague. <laughs> oh, oh my word! Yo, don't get near me, bro. Yo, yeah. let's go here. Let's go Alex, here. Alex, stay, hey, yo, Alex, stay away. Alex, stay away. He <laughs> could have the plague. But luckily, the players on this civilization were able to work together to cure themselves completely, removing the plague from their region, allowing them to get back to farming. Whilst back in the Ice Age, their civilization were limited on what they could do during this blizzard, as it continued to freeze players that went outside. But after realizing their ice armor made them immune to the cold, they sent a group of players over towards the frozen lake to gather ice for their civilization to craft more armor, after they had found out that it was craftable earlier on. Oh, wait, you can mine ice? Wait, what? Without steel touch? Bro, come on, you can actually mine ice and like get ice blocks. How are you guys getting ice? Oh, just just mine it. Yeah, just mine it. Wait, you, oh, you, can, make, uh, you can make armor. You can make armor out yeah, of ice. That's, that's, how, that, that's how you make it. It's a lot better than uh, than the leather one. Oh yeah, it is. Oh my god. Oh, no, bro, we're mining that. Where did you find all these things? Uh, you just make it with ice. Oh. Yeah, easy. Oh. So as they gathered up a bunch of ice from this lake and took it back to their camp, they were able to upgrade all of their armor, allowing them to continue on building up their civilization during this blizzard. As a player called Relic Plays started going around trying to persuade people to vote for him in the upcoming election, after his main rival for the leadership had died to the trap in the temple earlier on. Uh, through process of elimination, since he died, I was I was put up for second in command. So if we can get everyone to agree that I can lead our team, then. Uh, it would make election phase a lot easier and we can get a lot more done. I don't think anyone would um, propose that, but it's just trying to convince the rest of the, uh, uh, ice, the team. Rest of the ice team. The rest of the ice team, yeah. If we can at least, if we can get over half the people to vote for me, then we, we win the election phase. And as the disaster phase came to an end, Relic Plays would soon have his time to shine, as the election phase had begun, giving each civilization 15 minutes to host an election and promote somebody in the hopes of leading their civilization to victory. Which was something that the players in the Stone Age were going to struggle with, after their hunters that had left them almost an hour ago now decided to head back towards the temple once the famine had passed, instead of going back home to their civilization for the election. As players decided to try and prove themselves worthy of being leaders by attempting the parkour over towards the enchantment table, rather than just winning the election. Okay, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> guys, this is it's four. This is four oh, block. This is. My hands are sweaty. Knee quick, arms. I got this. I believe in you. You got this. No, these jumps are so hard. These are four blocks. After making only two jumps of progress, time continued to pass by in the election phase, as BTEC Clips was too scared to jump any further. Like, any, anyone else? Anyone it. else want to attempt? Before I go. Nope. Uh, as the other players were also too scared to make the jump over, BTEC Clips knew he had to make his move soon, so made his dying wish and went for the next jump. Alright guys, I just want to make it clear. If I die, I have only one request. I want you to make sure Bucklist becomes leader. Okay. And as he made the jump, he failed. Falling down into the lava below as his teammates watched on from above. <laughs> Goodbye guys. <laughs> With time continuing to tick down in the election phase, these players tried to quickly complete the parkour, but somehow continued to fail, causing their population to drop in players as they fell into the lava one after another. And as they were about to give up hope and leave this temple behind to regroup with their civilization that was still waiting for them to return in the cave to host their election, a player named Dog stepped up and gave the parkour a try. No, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't, kill. <coughs> no, don't do it. Go, Dog, let's go, Dog. Do it. Do it. Oh, no, no. Uh, believe in you. Actually, yeah. Don't do it. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm taking it all. I got rocks. Oh my god, look at this. Enchanted. Hold on. Fire aspect, sharpness, sweeping. Damn! I'm taking all of it. After grabbing all of the valuables in the barrels at the end of this parkour, this player looped around and met back up with her team as the rest of their group were too scared to try the parkour, allowing them to finally start making their way back over towards the mountainside cave that the rest of their civilization were inside of, waiting to host their election. Meanwhile, things for the Iron Age were going much smoother, as after dealing with the plague, they had built a small town hall to host their election inside of, allowing their members to start going up and giving out their speeches. Alright, so for this speech, I picked uh, Chat GPT for this one. Uh, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna say one thing and one thing only. We have Wi-Fi. They do not. That is all. That is it. Thank you. I've been on this. I've been on the events for three times now. I know how this all goes. I know that we need to defeat them with our brains instead of our swords. Because if we defeat them, we gotta be smart about it. That is why we're the Iron Age. We have brains, not our brawn. I got a question. Have you been on three times? How often have you won? How? Oh my god, damn. <laughs> damn. <laughs> yeah, I did not trust this guy. After a few interesting speeches, a player named Aerocon that has a history of being an incredible leader in my events took the stand as he shared his ideas for a new style of leadership. Alright, now all I'm here to say that uh, this will be a communist age. We're, we're all gonna be communists. There will be no leaders. Everyone's gonna have their part in the, in the team. Somehow, the players on the Iron Age agreed with this plan, as they casted their votes which saw Aerokun technically take the win, putting them in an interesting position as a civilization without a real leader, as players decided to work together and share their ideas to start making progress. We have full diamond, we need that? to make sure that we get diamond for the rest of the people here as well, so that yeah. is big. And as they sent players underground to gather resources for their undergeared teammates, Things didn't exactly go to plan, as they broke the one rule in Minecraft of digging straight down. Oh, look out, there it is. <gasps> I'm not doing that. <laughs> nah, don't worry, you're fine. You'll live. Oh, no! no, Chris! Back in the Ice Age, they prepared to host their election as they grouped their entire population inside of the walls of their camp. We are going to do the Ice Elections now. We have three candidates. Oh, Get off the stage. We'll let them all have 30 seconds to speak yeah. and tell them why they want to be our leader. We'll what? call up first relic, please. Everyone give them a clap. Boom! Yeah! Let's go, Relic! 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 Hush, hush, hush. Uh, you're next. No, no, Hello, no, no, team. No, 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 no introduction is needed. My name is above my head. I'm here to lead you all today because I have past experience, right? I will make sure we all have equal standings. None of you will be left behind. 
I as leader will ensure that we all have enough food to survive. We all have enough gear to fight our enemies and win. And there, I will take my leave. That I was stand Crips! Oh, I stand Crips! Let me give a speech! Let me give a speech! I stand Crips! After having already secured a bunch of votes for this election before it had even begun, Relic Plays tried to convince the rest of these players to vote for him. But he'd have some competition, as other players went up to give their speeches. Go. The next oh, person we will have really. up is Common Hat Mark. Give him a Let round. me give a speech! Okay. Oh, his name is Mark! His name is Mark! Let's talk! I can't hear that. Well, that's... Bro, that's... You know what I say? You know what I say? No, I'm not finished. Get the out of your clothes. I'm not finished. You know what I say? I say kill them all. Kill every single one of them. They don't deserve us. We're better than them. Kill them all. With a different approach, Common Hat managed to rally players behind him as he planned to take down the other civilizations with no mercy. But once his speech was complete, one final candidate made their way to the stand. The last hey man, you don't even know me yet. Is <laughs> Go Reaper. Zero. I believe Go in Reaper. you. All right. All right. Come Woo! on. Let's go. My solo. Let's go. Hey man, hey man, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> My fellow people of Ice and Snow. Some of you may know me. Many of you do not. No. My name is Little Reaper. I must be honest with you all. Our situation is looking a, a little bit bleak. We are no doubt likely the weakest of our three nations what 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 whoa what wow whoa 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 so as little reaper's speech was rejected by his teammates players now had to choose between their two main candidates common hat and relic plays if you want to vote for common, line up in front of this. If you want to vote for relic, line up on this side. Relic, go over here and build the tower. Despite having already secured a bunch of votes before the election had even begun, the votes were close, as Common Hat managed to gather 12 votes, whilst Relic Plays took the lead with 15. Based off of the vote, Relic, it is 15 to 12 in Relic's favor. Relic is... Thank you, guys. I appreciate all of you. Let's go. We will win this. Now, with their leader elected, all that remained was the players in the Stone Age that still hadn't started their election due to their civilization being split as conflict started to rise between two players that each wanted to lead this team before the election had even started. We need a group of people to set up a stairway and we need a group of people for hunting as well. We already have teams for this. Right. But we know we strictly yo. just need builders. We already have teams for these. We already have a set. But no, team. the thing is, we haven't established who is who. It's good to be organized. We don't know who is who yet. Yes, no, we have. No, okay. We already have. We have a group of like eight people. But saying that you already have doesn't Gosh. make it known to everybody who's what. Everyone just calm down. After Kiwi Viper had tried to take charge early on, a few players didn't agree with his leadership style, causing a group of more than 10 players to branch away from the team and set up their own camp at a stone formation nearby. But as the election phase started, Buckless knew he couldn't let Kiwi Viper win the election if they wanted to win, so started grouping up players against him. I think we go back and we win the election because that dude as a leader is not going to work out. With the hopes of using their group's numbers to win, Buckless knew he had a good chance of beating Kiwi Viper in this election, especially as he also had all of the hunters on his side after BTEC Clips had made it his dying wish earlier that he wanted Buckless to lead this civilization. Meaning, as they all grouped up and made their way over towards the cave, this civilization didn't feel the need to host an election with speeches, as it was clear that the only two candidates had already been decided, allowing the players to cast their votes between Buckless and Kiwi Viper. If you want less chaotic leadership, vote for me! But what Buckless didn't realize was that a few of Kiwi Viper's supporters were starting to plot an assassination attempt on him, as two players snuck away from the team and spoke about their plans to take him down. Do you want to kill Buckless? This is established. I don't mind. He's even I want everyone to work together. I said we, we are down members. Yeah. So with their plans set in stone, 
they approached Buckless and started swinging. As Buckless was executed in front of his entire team, a civil war broke out between the two groups of supporters, as all of the players that were planning to vote for Buckless decided to leave. Let's just leave, let's just leave. I'm leaving. This I'm leaving. I'm really far away. I'm sorry, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bro, bro, just just leave. Please it's literally now, it's literally just chaos. I was trying to tell you guys before. It's just chaos. Don't hey, get up, guys. Yeah, I guess now I lead. Now you lead. That's what we're doing. So as Kiwi Viper claimed the crown due to Buckless's assassination, this civilization split in half as a huge group of players left the mountain cave behind and made their way back over towards Stonehenge, where they planned to set up their own civilization away from Kiwi Viper's leadership. Oh, we got a lot of people right. now, bro. We got yeah, half no, no, of the, the team the here. Team, the team in the mountain is absolutely, like, in chaos. Just stay here. Just stay here. The team in the mountain is going to be our downfall. We can't stick with them. This is the official stone team, bro. I think we have the majority of the players here anyways. And as they gathered, a player named Libley took leadership over this group as he set up plans to help them progress. All right, so guys, the game plan is we have to fortify this entire place to make a really cool castle. And if you can't build, please go gather resources like logs and... Maybe concrete powder because we can make concrete with the water over there. Oh, yeah. They just start right resource now. battering. So, as they got to work, it was clear that the Stone Age had the least organized civilization of the three ages. And with them also being the smallest civilization of all, the next phase of this event would be crucial for their team. As the election phase came to an end and the camp building phase was announced, giving each civilization 45 minutes to build up their camp with the best looking camps being rewarded for their efforts. And as this chaotic election had costed the Stone Age valuable building time, they had to catch up to the other civilizations that had already been able to start building up their camps. Oh, this is okay, hold up. Who built this? Players in the Ice Age had started working on constructing igloos, small towers, and a tavern, which a few players tried to take credit for, despite doing none of the work. Yo, whoever built these towers, they are actually sick. Thank you, Klaus, thank you. Shut up, Leo. A, you, you were sitting the f*** <laughs> down doing nothing. No, no, thank thing. you, you thank you. Those towers were my true inspiration. This is actually coming along really well. Dude, they, they're making such... Dude, they're making such cool builds over there, man. I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I, Quals, I think we win, dude. Over in the Iron Age, they had also made some great progress during this phase, as their team split up into miners and builders, allowing their players underground to gather resources and XP to upgrade their armor, whilst those on the surface worked hard on building what I think were supposed to be houses. Slurps, I, I like my home! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what? Hey. I'm gonna win us to build com. You can, hey, do you know what you're gonna win us? You're gonna win us in last place! Nah, nah, don't worry about it. What is, what is this? Nah, nah, no, uh, don't! Wait, wait, hey, trust brothers! Y'all you haters? Haters? As their teammates decided to trust the process, they were able to construct bridges, farms, watchtowers, and most importantly, walls, which would be incredibly helpful for the next phase of this event. The invasion. Oh, okay. This is why we shouldn't go out to get ice. During this phase, each civilization would face an invasion, as dangerous mobs started moving into their region, which on the Iron Age included deadly orcs that were slowly approaching their camp. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, okay, oh. holy. It's time, man. These players worked together to take down this invasion, but as some of the weaker members were swarmed by the orcs, they were killed, causing the rest of their civilization to take cover behind the walls and use bows to take down the attackers. Whilst over in the Ice Age, their invasion was slightly different, as a pack of bears and mammoths started approaching their village, causing them to put their town hall on lockdown. Hey uh, guys, inside put, the main base, inside the main base. Put down the gate! Yeah, Lower in the gate! Inside the main base, inside the base. Yeah, close inside, the, close inside the base, yeah, close inside the, the base. Off. Close it off, guys. Do not close the gate off, do not close Wait. the gate off. We need people in here. Oh, there's polar bears, there's polar bears! Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside, come on. Guys, guys. Get inside, yeah, get yeah, inside! Don't lock him out, don't lock him out, don't lock him out! Let him in! Alright, alright, alright. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Get inside, get inside. As they tried to lock down their gate, players locked outside were forced to fight the mobs as their teammates went out to try and save them. That's a mammoth! I knew it, I knew it. I knew there would be mammoths! No way there would be mammoths. Guys, no, 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 no,
Yeah. Oh, dumbass hit the about. mammoth. Oh, I, saw, man, I, might, I might just watch this. Luckily, these mammoths were too big to fit through the entrance to their camp, allowing these players to take cover inside their walls as the mammoths were locked out. That's not, that's not gonna have fun. It is a mammoth. I got it, guys! Oh, move. that's the mammoth! Move, everyone move! I thought you were talking about the no, okay. no, 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 no! No, 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 no. Guys, the mammoth cannot back fit up, inside. Don't worry, it can't fit. Back up, everybody, back up, everybody, back up. Guys, oh gosh, relax. Get it, get it. We are oh, chilling. Okay. It cannot everybody go inside. Come over to this side of the camp. <laughs> Look at this fucking mammoth. Falls, you should tickle it. So, as they were able to take cover, their invasion should have been over. But somehow, a herd of boar had travelled into their region from the Stone Age and started attacking these players. Oh, oh my god, there's a whole army! Oh my gosh! Why is there chasing me? Why me? I was the farthest one! Why is there mammoth outside of a base? What is happening? Guys, help! Meanwhile, over in the Stone Age, the invasion phase was pretty easy for their civilization, as they had a huge high ground advantage preventing any mobs from getting up to their cave at the top of the mountain. But with players being curious as to what this invasion actually was after they saw nothing, they decided to put themselves at risk. There's literally- hey, Tokyo. you! Tokyo. 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 There's quite literally an invasion going on. What an idiot. We're being invaded and he wants to go off on his own. And as the rest of the team stayed at the top of this mountain, they were able to avoid the invasion as they spent the rest of their time developing this cave that was starting to look really good. And as each civilization took down their own invasions with minimal casualties, the Ice Age were now the largest civilization with 40 players remaining, as the Iron Age had fallen down to 37 and the Stone Age down to 34 which was going to drop even further, as when the second half of the camp building phase started, they sent a bunch of their players out towards the stone temple as they wanted to enchant their gear, as they knew going into battle against the other civilizations without any enchants would be costly. But as they attempted the parkour, they somehow continued to fail falling into the lava below, as some players even failed the first jump. We got this. No! Oh! No. Oh. Just go back. Oh no! Oh my... No! So as their population continued to fall in size, their leader Kiwi Viper knew they couldn't afford to continue living as a split civilization, as more than half of their members were still living away from the mountainside cave at their camp at Stonehenge. So in the hopes of reuniting, Kiwi Viper made his way down the mountain and decided to try and make peace with the rogue group. Uh, can you lead us to the team because we need to make peace, we are down by like... Six to five members compared to the other teams. So as Meter Boy led the way, they traveled across their region over towards Stonehenge and approached the other part of their civilization. Hello, hello there, everybody. Hello, we're not going over there though. The same. Okay. Um. All right. So can can I can I ask like why did uh like I wasn't too necessarily involved in random civil war, but uh what what happened to the split up? Why did people why did you decide to uh, not work together? Over there was One so chaotic, bro. I, 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 I understand that, but the thing is, we we have to look ahead together as a team. We're, we are mm. well organized, but like, I don't know what you want to do. Yeah, no, this is like, the loners. I'm sorry. Do. This is our group. Leader. This is going to be uh, our base, though. No matter what you say, this is our base. Uh, the civil conflict is stuff. insane. We just got to yeah, keep yeah, on going. All right. Let, yeah. let's, 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 let's get going. After a few minutes of discussion, it was clear to Kiwi Viper that these players weren't going to reunite with the rest of the team. So he decided to leave as they were wasting valuable time in the remainder of the build competition. <sighs> This is absolutely horrendous. Ah, uh, people with their egos and biases. So, as they made their way back home, each civilization now made the most of the remaining time in the build competition. And as they made the final touches to their villages and camps, the build competition eventually came to an end, as each civilization would now be visited and voted for their builds. First up was the Iron Age that had successfully worked together without any leadership issues after they had decided to be a communist civilization, allowing them to create a small town that they named Iron Guard. This is our lovely town, Iron Guard. Inside, they had built small farmhouses, traps, and a prison for John Fortnite that had once again imprisoned himself to avoid having to do any work around the camp. John's in prison again! Oh, sword! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's He's in prison. Prison. This town also included a watchtower and an execution stand. All right, everybody, listen up real quick. We got a cow up for retribution. We need to sacrifice it so we can win the event right now. So, uh... For help and for victory, cow. everybody, in the name of the holy cow, get him out of here. 
Oh. No, don't kill the baby, no! And they finished off their tour by showing me their bridges and paths that led to each structure all over their region, allowing players to easily navigate between the enchantment table and their camp. Next up is the Stone Age, that despite dealing with a civil war, had managed to assign their members to different tasks allowing them to transform this cave into a working society. All right, if, if we go over here, we, we got people chilling, you know, look at, the, look at them interact, interact, start interacting. Inside, they had farms, a town hall, and some bedrooms. Over here, we got like, you know, got the beds, we see we got some people napping over here, you know. You know yeah! And after showing me the final few areas of their cave, it was clear that these players had really taken inspiration from their civilization's theme, giving them a great chance of winning this build competition. But finally was the Ice Age, where they had built wooden cabins, igloos, and paved out walkways in the snow leading to their main camp that was filled with tents, watchtowers, and a tavern where players could go and buy food. What do you, what do you guys sell? We sell, sell many oh, exotic meats, like beef hey, yo, and pork. And finally, they showed me their statue that they had built of a polar bear. If you look up on the mountain side, you'll see our situ of what we represented. That is a polar bear. That's a polar bear? Wait, am I looking at the right thing? So as the tour finished up here, the votes were counted as each civilization had actually managed to make some really cool camps. But it was clear that one stood out more than the others, as it was announced that the Stone Age had won the build competition. Yeah! yeah. Oh. Go, boys, go, go! Yeah, baby! All right. For their hard work, these players were given a supply crate, which contained incredibly OP resources like enchanted stone clubs, golden apples, lapis, and most importantly, an enchantment table, which would be incredibly useful for their civilization, as this meant they no longer had to risk their lives trying to do parkour to enchant their armor and weapons. Wait, okay. we right, have right, right. table. Table. Let's no, we did? Alright, alright. Place it in the town hall. Place it in the town hall. We have high ground to play off of. And as this allowed their entire group to start enchanting their armor, the other half of this civilization that had set up at Stonehenge heard that their civilization had won the build competition and seemed to quickly change their minds about reuniting. Oh my god. Drop? No. No. Uh, no. It was the other guys. Right. No. The other guys got an enchantment table. What? And I'm coming from them. They've, they've offered. Ev they're going to drop everything and we can just work together. You guys can use the enchantment table uh, levels and stuff. If guys, this might be actually a smart yeah, idea. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Right, let's go. Right, let's go. Right, let's go. go. Knowing that this enchantment table would give them a huge boost in strength, these rogue players made their way back over towards the mountainside cave and ended the civil war between their civilization, as they all enchanted their gear which would definitely be needed as the build vault phase had ended and the battle phase had started, opening the borders between each civilization, allowing them to pass through the mountains into each other's regions. And over in the Iron Age, they had been preparing for this moment, as they had all enchanted their armor and upgraded their weapons, as they grouped up at the exit of Iron Guard, ready to launch an attack. All right, uh -oh. boys, yeah, all right. you ready? Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. I will meet you, I will meet you here. Down of stone. Wasting no time, the players in the Iron Age planned to catch the other civilizations off guard by traveling through the mountains to attack them straight away. But as they made their way over towards the mountains, they wouldn't be alone, as the Ice Civilization had planned the exact same thing, as a group of their players had spent the last hour building up a defensive wall between the mountains that led into their region, as they planned to group up their entire civilization at the border to the Iron Age as soon as the battle phase was announced. Uh, okay, listen, half of our team is already at the border. We need to go and group up with them right now because they have a massive trap set and they're waiting for us to meet them there. Now, the reason why I want us all over there, it's better for us to be with them. It's better for us to be with them than uh, for us to be, like, split up. So as they made the journey across their region to the border, they arrived only moments before the Iron Age that had finally made their way to the mountains as well and had spotted the defenses up ahead. Oh. Okay, stop here. I won't stop here. I won't stop here. Just stop, stop, I won't stop here. I won't stop here. I won't stop here. Stop, stop, stop. I won't stop here. But what the players on the Iron Age didn't realize was that in front of this wall was a giant fall trap that had been disguised into the path. And as they held position on the walls, hoping to use their trap, the players on the Iron Age started to approach the defenses. Oh, don't get they're, trapped, everyone. They're, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. 
No, here, the iron. It's iron. As the two civilizations stood face to face for the first time, the Ice Age started launching snowballs at the iron players, making the most of their ability to freeze their enemies. Snowball them! Snowball them! Snowballs! <laughs> they're throwing snowballs. God, they're, they're, like, they're actually killing my oh FPS. Oh, 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 they freeze. The snowballs freeze. Oh. oh. What? 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 But this strategy failed for the ice players, as the snowballs caused the iron players to scale the mountain nearby to get high ground, pushing them away from the trap that they had spent so long making. Get high ground, everyone get high ground. Get high ground, high ground. Let them throw higher. their snowballs. Slow them, slow them down! They hit the, the shields! Help them, slow them down! Help them, slow them down. As a few players pushed forward, a fight broke out between the two civilizations. But as the ice players were outnumbered, they were pushed back as the iron civilization charged into their land. Guards! Help them! They're coming here! They have cross poles, run away, run away! As the players that were holding the line saw the entire iron civilization charging towards them, they decided to retreat in a panic, leaving a few of their teammates that had ran into battle behind to fight for themselves. Why are we running? Why are we running? Why are we we're running? We're gonna, we're gonna kill them. Get Relic! Relic! Oh, as they took over this barricade, the Ice Age's plan to hold the line had failed, as they all retreated back into their region as they tried their best to escape without losing any more players, which failed horribly, as the Iron Age were right on their tail, allowing them to pick off several players that had detached from the group. Nice. Let's dropping. go, we haven't lost a single they're player yet. And as the Ice Age dropped down to 33 players, they had no choice but to try and retreat to their camp hoping to regroup and defend their civilization. Okay, while we're running, we need to make a plan. What is our plan, bro? I don't know, to get back and then let them come to us, I guess. Guys, this is the greatest comeback story of the century. But as they arrived back at the camp, they realized this place was not strong enough to defend from an attack. Are we still following? In our tiny base? Yeah, our base is bro. It's basically nothing. It's a pile of snow, bro. They can sh they can destroy it with this shovel. With no other options, they all grouped up inside of their camp and took positions on their walls, waiting for the ambush, hoping to make the most of the traps and defenses that they had made for this moment. As their leader, Relic Plays, gave them some words of encouragement. Listen, guys, we need to group up. We need to all hold. We all need to play together. If we all start splitting up and we all start running away, we're never going to win this. And as they stood waiting on the walls, the Iron Age grouped up a few hundred blocks away from this camp, as they shared out the loot from their kills and came up with a battle plan before approaching. Melt it down! Oh Melt it down! We can't. They're pushing in! Everyone, they're pushing in! They're pushing in! They have bows and arrows! They have bows and arrows! Everyone be careful! As expected, these walls were far too weak to provide any protection as the Iron Age ran forward and broke straight through. Okay, I'm grouping the walls, I'm destroying the walls. Oh, we can just destroy the walls. They're, they're destroying they're, 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 they're. As a huge battle broke out between the two civilizations, the players from the Ice Age tried their best to defend their camp, causing players from both civilizations to die. Try to help your teammate, but it'll lead to your downfall. Let's go! Nice. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Oh wait, they have gold, they have gold. Get, grab gold. With incredible coordination, the Iron Age were able to eliminate 20 players from the Ice Age, as they now heavily outnumbered them after only losing 8 players during this attack. So with no choice but to hide or escape into the distance, the rest of the Ice Age civilization abandoned their camp, as they tried their best to survive. If we, if we, if we stay together- Yo, we're dead, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> Oh, we gotta go back. We gotta retreat. 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 If you stay I'm here, you die. will die. Guys, hurry, let's go. Come on, we're go we're gonna go to stone. Come on. Stone? Yeah, it's the only chance we have. Group of 30 people, we won't stand a chance. 
So as they gathered all of their teammates and headed over towards the mountains to escape into the Stone Age, their camp had officially fallen after their leader Relic Plays, who had tried his best to lead this team to victory, went down with his base as he was killed by the army of players, allowing these players to now loot through this camp, taking anything valuable that they could find inside. Yeah, guys, loot, loot, just loot. Pick yeah, loot, loot, loot. Yeah, just, just loot everything, just loot everything you can. Pick that food. Back in the Stone Age, they still hadn't left their cave as they had been working on enchanting their armor after winning the building competition earlier. And as they saw the deaths of the other civilizations flooding through in chat, they had gone from what was once the smallest civilization to the largest as they stood strong with 32 players. But they wouldn't be alone up here for long, as the players from the Ice Age that had escaped into their region decided to message the players in the Stone Age as they asked to form an emergency alliance, hoping to take down the Iron Age that seemed to be an unstoppable force. Ice okay, wants listen. to team with us. Ice wants to team with us. I'm gonna say yes. yes. Ice, Ice is teaming. They're, they're coming. They're right behind us. They're gonna come here. Do not. Do not. No, 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 no. This is us. Wait, 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 wait. And as they agreed to talk with the players from the Ice Age, they made their way over towards the mountain and grouped up at the bottom, as Kiwi Viper went down to meet with them and explain his terms of their alliance. Your guys' terms of services. You guys can use our enchantment table. Your base will be set at the, the feet of our mountain, okay? I will lead you to the enchantment table. Once you're done, you go to back to the foot of the mountain. In return, you play as front lines. After the Ice and Stone Ages had officially made an alliance, they now had a total of 43 players grouped up inside of this cave, with the hopes of taking down the Iron Age as their spirits were once again lifted. We are so back. We are so back. Yo, we won. We won. But it wouldn't be long before they fought once again, as back in the Ice Age, these warriors had destroyed the camp and had grouped up their entire army once again at the border as they came up with their next plan. Yeah, the border. Uh, what, what's our next plan? What's our next plan? We could try to fight yeah, Rush plan, Stone Age. We could try to go for Stone, stone Age. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. As they entered the Stone Age, they accidentally went the opposite direction to the mountain cave as they tried to locate this civilization. But instead of finding the cave, they managed to find Stonehenge. Oh, oh yeah, that's the build. That's yeah, the build. yeah, that's yeah, that's the base. As they approached this base, they spotted a few players inside that had returned here after enchanting their armor at the cave, which was a horrible idea as they spotted the 30 player army from the Iron Age charging towards their camp. Oh, sh let's go. Oh, <laughs> Luckily, the players at this camp had made secret tunnels below, allowing them to slip away underground as their camp was taken over. We are screwed. They're the all below us, the rats. These players were able to escape into nearby caves as they alerted the rest of their civilization about the army of players that were in their region. Guys, guys, we got invaders. We got, we guys got invaders. Group up. There's iron in our territory. There is iron in that territory. I got a whisper from L2. With only a few minutes to prepare for battle, the two civilizations that were hiding in this mountain stood at the entrance to their cave waiting to spot the Iron Age in the distance, which wouldn't take long as they gave up trying to hunt down the players that had escaped into the caves. Yeah, just go back up, just go back up. They're coming up, they're coming up. Oh wait, no, that's just us. After realizing these players had escaped, they moved on from this camp as they continued exploring nearby and eventually were able to locate the mountainside cave that both other civilizations were currently inside of. Oh what my god. Oh, what? what is that? Oh, I see all of them. Ready for battle, the Iron Age started moving in as the guards from the Ice Age at the bottom spotted them and decided to retreat. Iron's attacking, 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 they need to come up. They have, they have, they have arrows. Iron's here, Iron's here, Iron's coming, Iron's coming to attack, Iron's coming to attack. Iron's coming to attack. Iron's coming to attack. Iron's coming to attack. Iron's This is gonna be a big fight, guys. Get ready. Yeah, they're right there, they're right there. Okay, 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 okay. You guys, you guys keep position. With all three civilizations now in the same location, the Battle of the Ages was about to start as the Iron Age started scaling the mountain. Just build up, build up, just build up. But as they made their way up, players from the Stone Age started throwing rocks down at them. Oh, they're, they're, throwing, they're throwing rocks, they're throwing rocks. And as they tried their best to avoid the rocks raining down on them, they flanked around the side of the mountain, allowing them to start tunneling into the base. You see them, you see them mining. Yeah. They're underneath, underneath, come to the bar, come to the bar. Hey, no, we're not mining, we're not. 
Get him, get him, get him! There's a killer! In their attempt to defend this place, the Stone Age managed to take down a few members from the Iron Age as they had fallen into their cave by accident. Oh, damn. They continued trying to drop their enemies into the cave by mining the floor below them, but the Iron Age realized this attack plan wasn't going to work, as they decided to pull back from their attack and regroup their entire civilization at the top of the mountain, as they planned to drop down as one giant force. Alright guys, I think I think it's time. Yeah. It's time. Yeah. Oh, Let's go guys. Let's go. Let's go. And as they made their way back down, they worked together to mine through the side of the mountain into the base, as a few of their strongest fighters were able to pick off a few of the other players that were outside. Hey, I'm so dead. Hey, I'm dead. Hey. No, 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 no. Guys, stay out of there. No! With the numbers starting to even out, the Iron Age miners had been able to mine a new entrance in the side of the mountain, allowing them to push forward into the cave and launch an attack. As they charged in, a huge battle broke out within this cave between all three civilizations as countless players started to die. Hey, Arrow, stay back! Oh. Don't hurt my boy! Guys, don't you let him get away! No, no, you're not escaping! You're not escaping! You're not escaping! No! With players dying all over, the alliance between the Stone Age and the Ice Age caused confusion between their teams as some players started attacking the wrong civilization. Get, get this guy! F*** up! Why are you get killing up. me? Why are you killing me? Dude, why? What the f***? And despite having a much larger team, the Stone Age started to fall apart as the warriors from the Iron Age continued to pick them off one player at a time. Little Nas X. I'm sorry, no. I, I get no. a little heated. No. It's nothing be personal. Part of my music video. I'll let you be a part of my music video. And as the Iron Age had flipped the numbers, they now had more players than both other ages combined, as the remaining players from the Ice and Stone Age started trying to escape this fight. Jenny, Jenny, no, Jenny, no, 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 this included their leader, Kiwi Viper, who had survived for long enough to watch his entire civilization crumble before he tried to escape himself and was sadly chased down and killed. <sighs> and after another perfectly coordinated attack, the Iron Age had wiped out this cave as the remaining players from the other civilizations hid underground trying to come up with another plan to take down which seemed to be an unstoppable army of players. Shh. How many drift zones do you have? Just set up a whole trap. So more, dig, more, more. They just dig down. Okay. Come here. Set up, let's set up a nice little box. These two players decided to start working on a dripstone trap in the hopes of uncrouching and revealing their names to the huge group of Iron Age players above them, hoping to catch them off guard as they mined down and fell into the trap. So after layering the floor around them with dripstone, they unshifted. Oh, wait. Unshift, unshift. This is where we die. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are hidden. And as expected, after they revealed their names, the group of players above the surface spotted them. <laughs> wait, 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 people down there, people down there, Neo, Neo and Stone. Okay, they're coming, they're coming, come down, come down, shit. As the Iron Age started digging down towards these two players, they were completely oblivious to the trap as they mined down directly above it. In the ground, in the ground. No, no, don't, don't, yeah. Shh, shh, shh. But on their way down, they found the tunnel that these two players had used to escape earlier, changing their path, allowing them to avoid the trap as they dropped down beside it instead. What's up, guys? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> go, go. Go, you guys. Go, go. What kind of trap is this? <laughs> oh, no, nah, that was a lot. I know, right? You should be scared. <laughs> Arrow f stinks. He stinks. You stink. <laughs> <laughs> With the trap having failed, these two players were eliminated. Oh my god, I was so low, I was on free hearts. Man, I saved your ass, holy sh**. But it turned out that this trap hadn't been for nothing, as this distraction to the Iron Age had allowed all of the other players that were hiding to resurface as the coast was now clear. Let's, let's wait, 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 wait till they all go in. 
Are you, are you ready with yeah. me? Three, two, one, go. And as they managed to regroup their civilizations, they spoke about their plans on how they were going to come back and take down the Iron Age. All we have to do is kill a couple of them, get their loot, and then we're gonna win. We can't. We can't use their armor. We can't use their we're armor. We're not gonna win, but we have to die honorably. We have to die honorably. Facts. There's no way we win. <laughs> Despite not being confident, they then made their way back over towards the camp that they had made at Stonehenge earlier on, as they planned to defend this place from the Iron Age that had now taken over the mountainside cave, allowing them to cycle through the bundles of loot that had dropped from the players that they had killed. Wow, we're looking more stacked than we did at the beginning. Holy! Yeah. Wait, yeah. Shit. Iron guard on top, baby. Iron, 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 so, as they regrouped their whole civilization at the entrance to this cave, their team seemed confident that they could take down the remaining players, as they were by far the strongest civilization. But with the Ice and Stone Ages alliance continuing, these players didn't want to get ahead of themselves. There is one thing. On oh, the chest, the chest. Uh, yeah, image, as we oh, fight, oh, some of us won't they... make it. That's okay. <laughs> and as they knew that the longer they gave the other civilizations to regroup, the stronger they would become, they left this cave behind and split off into two groups, hoping to locate the players that had managed to escape. And as one half of the civilization went back towards the Iron Age, expecting them to have left this region, the other half continued to search through the Stone Age and eventually made their way back over towards Stonehenge and spotted the players. Oh, they're all dead, they're all dead, they're all dead, they're all dead, wait, let me message. In a panic, these players tried to stay hidden as they waited for the rest of their team to return as they were currently outnumbered, but they had already been spotted. Oh, 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 iron, iron across, there, 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 behind the hill, behind the hill, behind the hill, right there, right there, right there, diamond. Let's go, let's go, get them. Go? No, we, we, go, we, we have to stay go. defensive. No, 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 no. He's gonna lead us on. There's no way. Let them come. Let them come. No, they might be regrouping. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Let's go. I think they already saw us. They were kind of jumping up and down. But yeah, some, some are pushing, pushing. One's pushing. Three are pushing. Four. With a split decision between the team, a few players pushed forward as the rest held back, causing them to lose their advantage over the Iron Age. We can take those. We can take those. We can take those. We can take those. Oh, we can take those. Can they? Do you oh. guys really yeah, want to do this? Oh, Yo, no. back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. We have slaughtered your whole team. Why do you guys think you guys aren't gonna get slaughtered now? Oh, nice. Although they outnumbered these players, poor coordination costed them their lives as they were taken down with ease after being left out to fight by the other half of their group that watched their teammates die from behind the walls. Bro, they're just watching this. I don't know, this is why they're losing. They're just like splitting up. After realizing these players had no organization, they knew they'd be able to take down the rest of them without the help of their teammates that were still making their way over. So they charged towards the walls and started attacking. And as expected, the lack of communication between these players costed them dearly, as they were destroyed by the Iron Age, as they once again tried to run instead of fighting. This caused the final members from the Ice Age civilization to die, as their civilization was officially eliminated from the event. And as the Iron Age also cleaned up a few players from the Stone Age, only one player stood between the Iron Age and victory as a player named LT5 that had escaped into the caves earlier on after their original attack, had finally resurfaced after seeing his entire civilization being wiped out in chat. I want to die swinging. Where are these people at? I want to die with glory and with honor. With nothing to lose, LT5 charged forward looking for any enemies and eventually spotted a player that had split up from the rest of his group, giving him the chance for an even fight. on him. All right, where are the other people? After taking down one of his enemies, a few others had spotted the lightning strike from their teammate's death as they swarmed over towards LT5 as he entered another fight against two more players. Here we go. Glory and honor. Glory and honor. Despite being outnumbered, he was able to put up a great fight against these two players as they struggled to take him down. Oh, can you help me? Seriously. Oh my god. Glory and honor! Who wants it? I'll take it. Why is that sword genuine? But with the rest of the civilization lurking nearby, this fight wouldn't last for long. 
Oh. Why are there so many of them? <laughs> Glory! And as expected, with the entire Iron Age civilization against him, LT5 was killed, eliminating the Stone Age from this event. Meaning, despite having no leader, the players from the Iron Age had managed to not only win this event, but dominate it, as the other civilizations' lack of confidence and organization in battle had eventually led to their downfall, allowing these players to return home to their town, Iron Guard, as winners. If you enjoyed this story and want to see more like this in the future, subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1 million subscribers by the end of the year, so it would be much appreciated. But for now, that is the end of this story, and I hope you guys enjoyed.